welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the specimen paper of the new IGCSE Cambridge paper two, which is a non-calculator paper, extended um, paper, and this is from the 0580 um, syllabus. So uh, the fact that we have a non-calculator paper now changes the whole situation in terms of how we are going to be tackling these questions, such questions as this in the past would just the calculation would just be put in your calculator and that would be it once you'd set it up so setting up still has to go through the same thought process but actually uh, doing the calculation we need to um, you know have a few strategies to make life easier for us to cope with the calculation so now we have um, Amy changes 250 euros into dollars um, the exchange rate is one euro is equal to 1.10 dollar okay so i'm going to write down i'm going to leave a space the way i like to do this kind of uh, money exchange type of question i leave a space i put the exchange rate so one euro this is a symbol for euro if you don't know you can just write euros is equal to 1.10 dollars and we want to find out um how many dollars that amy will get for 250 euros so we're going to have 250 over here is equal to x dollars now we can do a simple cross multiplication here i can just multiply 250 by 1.10 and divide it by one okay so it's just going to be the x that we're trying to find the number of dollars is going to be 250 multiplied by 1.10 we don't have to put the zero at the end here and we got this calculation to do so to make this calculation easier all right, now this is where in the past you just put this in your calculator to get your answer. All right, to make this calculation a bit easier, we can um, go through a few different thought processes. Uh, one of them is basically um, that we can say, all right, let's get rid of the zero from this. That means we have to divide this by 10. So it becomes 25. And let's get rid of the decimal point by, of, by this. We multiply this by 10 and it becomes 11. Now we've divided this part by 10 multiplied that pi by 10 so therefore they cancel each other out all right so you end up with these are equal as you can notice i've written equal here so this and this will give you the same answer and then we want to do 25 times 11 there's multiple ways we can do this to make it easy for us without a calculator you can think of this as 25 times and you can think of this as 10 plus 1. so we can use the distributive property 25 times 10 is 250 plus 25 times 1 is 25 that's going to give you 275 dollars and there's the answer okay so you can um you know do this and that's a nice easy way to do it um another easy way to do this once you got to this stage here is you can do for example 25 you can write it as i'll show you up here i can make you can make a little grid you can say okay 25 is the same as 20 plus 5 and 11 is the same as 10 plus 1 and you can make a little grid okay and you can basically just um you know find the answer so 20 times 100 is 200 sorry 20 times 10 is 200 20 times 1 is 20 10 times 5 is 50 and 5 times 1 is 5 if you add these together you end up end up with 275 okay that's another way you can do that 10 times 11 times 25 you can split it up into tens and units tens and units and then multiply and then add the numbers in the grid together that gives you 275 another way you can do it from here directly you can think of this as this is increasing 250 by one by 10 percent so it's going to be 250 plus 10 percent more 10 percent of 250 is 25 so it's 250 plus 25 which is 275 there's multiple ways you can do this using mental maths okay without having to resort to a calculator in the past you would just straight away put it in the calculator the students who did the old igcse before march 2025 but now you have to have these techniques in your head and be well versed with them you know it's only worth one mark all right um and you have to make sure that you do this these questions and there is a time constraint so you should be able to uh, do this quite quickly so there's um, some more mental maths needed as compared to previous uh, syllabus or syllabi so anyway that's the this question answered as i said i'm doing these questions one by one so i can save them in different um you know 
playlists. Okay, so I have a playlist at the top here at the end of the video. It will be linked. This this link here will take you to this actual paper, this specimen paper that this is from. And the actual PDF of this paper can be found in the description of the playlist. You can click on the if you look at the description, there's a link taking you to the specimen paper and also the mark scheme for this paper for you if you want to actually print it out and do it yourself. And um, over here you will find a link to the uh, playlist which is dealing with um, and I'm going to put this under the topic of ratio okay and um, I'm gonna maybe make a, a sub kind of uh, index of um, exchange okay currency exchange and um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link over there thank you for watching and see you soon